What is up, everyone? Let's jump into... I was trying to get something else done before the stream, but let's jump into a plus seven so we can start seeing this new ethics. Now, I haven't personally done it. I've seen a lot of people talk about it. I've read up on it. Here's a plus nine HOV. Let's just jump right into it. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes. What I have heard is that Vault of the Warden and Court of the Stars are completely broken for this affix. So let's give HOV a shot. HOV has some of the best in slot like we covered earlier this week. It's giving a ton of AP as a reward. I believe I got a token for 2 mil from it. So let's go ahead and start heading over there. Getting a summons. We're in a group for a plus nine HOV. We'll see how it goes. Let me start, let me just untrack a few of these things. And my weekly, all right. So everybody should be here, except for maybe our healer. So plus nine, let's see how this goes. I want to make sure that the shaman gets here before I run in. Start pulling stuff. Alright, so you said you did get the summon, so you should be here shortly. So, plus 9 HOV. It should be teeming explosive. I have a key here too. Yeah, teeming explosive. So, what's up, everyone? Today is the last day for North American servers to try to get that um, that hidden artifact appearance from the Mage Tower. So if you guys haven't tried it at all, you do get one free attempt a day. So maybe run in there, give it a shot. It should end tonight, sometime in the middle of the night. What's up, Andrew Young? I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching, man. Just got some buff food going. Alright, everybody's here. Should be able to start this plus nine. See how it goes. I haven't done anything with explosive yet, so we'll see exactly how it goes. Yeah, and right, I hear you. That it's a really, really tough thing to do. Closest I got was about forty percent on the first boss. Here, explosive. So let's see how it goes. So since we have teaming, I'm gonna keep these guys here a little bit. Don't wanna pull way too much. And I want to see what explosive exactly does. Now, I haven't seen any orbs. What I've been told it does is it summons an orb that you need to attack. This orb is non-cleavable. So you need to target it directly. So we'll see how it goes. Now, I still haven't seen one. Here it is. Fell explosive. I don't know if you guys saw that real quick. It goes down real quick, but you have to target it. Alright, it's good to know. That's exactly what we're dealing with. I have heard that Vault of the Wardens and Court of Stars are completely broken with it right now. So we won't be able to do those today. Although, I, I, I'll be willing to try a Vault of the Wardens. See how it goes. Let's mount up for this pull. That did, I don't know if you guys saw that, that was one explosive that did go off right there. Here's the other one, alright, I got it. 
So yeah, you guys can see those orbs coming up. They can't be cleaved down, so you need to target them specifically. They have a 6 second cast time, so you have 6 seconds to target it and just completely take it down. But they go down 1 or 2 hits. But they do 50% of the HP of the person they summon, they're summon near. So if they get summoned near the tank for whatever reason, that's 50% of the tank's HP as damage. That's not too bad. Also, I hope you guys are doing your weekly Mythic Pluses. Uh, since I did a plus 10 last week, this week in my weekly loot chest, I got an artifact point um, thing for 4 million. So if you guys are doing it every week, you guys are going to be getting some pretty big rewards. Alright, we got to get the hell out of here. But yeah, really, really big AP rewards. Now they scale to whatever dungeon you're running. So HOV, like we're running here, should be giving a lot more. Last time I ran it, I was getting about 1.5 mil for the whole run. So we'll see how much we get today for this. Also, if there's any particular Mythic Pluses you guys want to see, you guys should let me know. So that I can go ahead and run that. Alright, are we getting a res? We are getting a res. So we'll wait for that pat to go away. We do have teaming, so that's why we have two patch right there. But you jump in, you interrupt, you start running up, except you got a fell explosive. Alright, there we go. No pats. That's how you do it. I also like the fact that they got rid of a lot of the they got rid of a lot of the trash that you need to do in HOV. Just to kind of clean things up. That was good. So you will see these fell explosives, they will keep coming up, and in a big pack like this, it's just, it's a lot. You guys see that? Oh, there's that one in the back. Alright, somebody got it. Alright, I just keep tab targeting to see if I get it whenever I see one up. Good news is they do provide victory rush. Oh, that was like four of them going off at the same time. That's a that's a lot of damage that will go off. So with explosive, you're not gonna be able to even though you're overgeared, you really have to watch out. If they were able to be cleaved, they would be a lot easier, but since they're immune to that. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna suck. Even if you have a particular mythic plus on farm, it's still gonna take a while. Let's go ahead and run back. But yeah, we got we got rid of about half that pull. So that's not too bad. Actually, no, we didn't. We got rid of one. Alright. Alright, this guy was feared, but I picked him up. 
Don't want him to run over to the pats. Oh no, that's a lot of people down. Yeah, if you don't target those orbs, you're for sure going to go down. Look at this. This is going to hit me for... Yeah, at that point, they're summoning on me. 50% of my HP is being done as AoE damage. It's going to get rough. And somebody left the dungeon. All right, so that that's it for HOV plus nine so far. Every I guess that's a that's a lost key on them. So we'll try to join another dungeon. The healer just completely left. So it let, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I'm going to teleport back to Dal. I can't teleport back to Dal. Let's try to find at least a plus 7. So we can get this, this explosive again. Cathedral? No, that's... You don't want to run Cathedral this week. Here's a plus eight. There's a plus seven. Neltharian's layer. We can go ahead and jump in that. There it is. But yeah, you guys saw that. That explosive, you can't... You have to tab target it. You can't just passively cleave it. And they, they seem to summon at like intervals that are just stacked up they do go down quick but yeah you you need to focus them you, you saw that we had like four or five pop up there and if the DPS don't get on it right away immediate immediate wipe Cathedral I actually really do like Cathedral Andrew right now I avoid it for mythic pluses because even in regular mythic you get a ton of wipes not everyone understands every mechanic so right now because of that I try to avoid it but I really do like Cathedral I like the um, the last boss especially having to like protect Illidan and block those shadow orbs I'm gonna try to you know unmount here and see what I can do although I think it's just gonna take me to Dal now but yeah I do like Cathedral very very cool dungeon um, there's there's a lot of those cool boss mechanics the first boss is probably the one that I like the least and that's because you get so many lashers that fixate on everyone like you, you you don't know exactly which one's watching you maybe if they had a beam from the lasher to the person and it'd be a little bit more clear-cut that'd be cool um, but besides the first boss I do really like that dungeon I need to respec because I'm in my I'm in my uh, Challenge mode, Mage Tower spec. So let's also get repaired right now while we're here. Yeah, and that should be good. Just need to move my stun over, and we're all set. And we'll start running over to Neltharian's Lair. We're going to do a plus 7 Neltharian's Lair, so we can see exactly how explosive is in there. But so far, I mean, we tried that HOV plus 9. Didn't go that well for us. Since we do have teaming, that makes it so that more mobs potentially can cast Fell Explosive. So that's that's probably something that isn't good to deal with the first week. But we'll jump right into High Mountain from here. And run over Notharian's Lair. Although, let's see. Yeah, people are still running over there.
One thing I do want to test is... Alright, let's run over. Also, if you guys haven't been farming the Sentinax, you can basically, you know, quote-unquote, force what legendaries you're going to be getting. So if you farm the Sentinax, you should be getting about 8,000 shards per hour, which means you can buy one epic per hour. I think each epic is about 5,000 nether shards. At that point, you can buy whatever slot you want for your next legendary and start creating them and they have a chance to reroll into legendaries. So if you farm that and spam whatever slot your best in slot legendary is, you have a decent chance of, uh, it depends on how many legendaries you already have, but like I only had two, so my third one was gonna be coming very soon. So if you do that, you can basically force which legendary you get. So if you have a new alt, a new tune, that's an easy way to try to force whichever legendary you get. Let's get some summons going. What's up, Warblade? Glad to see you're here. Yeah, I got lucky that I got my bracers from Nighthold. I was just doing LFR Nighthold for artifact points, but but let's say you need your um, protection gloves. Go to Sentinax, farm there a little bit, and just start getting those uh, the gloves, the epic gloves that cost five thousand shards, and just start making them. Since they have a, a chance to become legendaries, based on your bad luck protection, you should uh, increase your chances. So we're waiting on the healer. Once the healer gets here, we'll be fine. I feel the same way, Warblade. It's like, alright, I'm finally calming down. I got my heroic tier pieces from Nighthold. Let me start going to my alt. No, wait! Hidden Artifact Appearance, Mage Tower, no wait, new Mythic Pluses, new Paragon Traits, like I, I want that Neltharian's Thunder, I want it, but I'm so far away from it, I need three more points here, one point here, and then that point, alright, let's see how this goes, brand new group, that HOV group, people just started leaving after um, two deaths or two wipes. So we'll see how it goes. I did let them know that they can't just passively cleave these fell orbs. They do need to be singled out. Yeah, this week for my Mythic Plus, I actually got Cathedral. And I'm I, I'm reluctant to even try it right now. Warblade, you don't. I wouldn't say you you need 900 plus item level, but most of most of the people that have gotten it are heroic and mythic gear tanks. So. Even though you, you might be able to get... If you do everything perfectly as a lower item level, you might be fine. Yeah, you, you more than likely need at least all that heroic gear. Oh, we do have a Fell Explosive in there. It does need to be taken down. There it is. So you guys can see these Fell Explosions here. They do need to be singled out. So again, something I don't want to do is pull too much to get too many of these. It's a brand new affix. Nobody really knows exactly how to deal with it. So I want to take it easy.
Even if that means that this week we'll probably just get a bunch of two chests, that's that's fine with me. It's a lot better than not getting it done. There it is. There it is. There's a fell explosion. Let's get that down. And again, every time I cast Revenge, Thunderclap, it just nothing does damage to it. It needs to be single targeted. Seems like this group is a lot better at kind of stomping those out. And you can't just... Yeah. You, you know how before sometimes you would just start kiting a mob away? Can't really do that with fell explosives. It'll do a ton of damage to you. Warblade, you can give it a shot, and you get one free chance at doing it every day. So even though you're 896, I I would suggest giving it a shot. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be very tough. You're definitely not going to be able to do it in your first attempt or first 10 attempts, but you can run in there. Um, just don't get disheartened. Don't, get, don't feel like this is it. I'm going to just roll over and die now. Uh, a lot of people for Warriors, by the way, Warblade, are running the um, Belt and the Bracers. And they run Anger Management so that their Demoralizing Shout comes off of cooldown all the time. This allows them to just use their Demoralizing Shout on cooldown um, on, the, uh, on the Inquisitor as much as possible. Because he does cast uh, that hits you for 2.2 million. So if you can reduce that by 20% and maybe like a spell reflect or something, then you're doing alright. So the more demoralizing shouts you get, the better. Yeah, for this boss, always make sure to try to tab target just to pick up these ads regardless. So you should be tabbing out a lot just for that. I don't think enough tanks do that to tab target and actually pick these guys up. Let's get that fell flame. Yeah, just I don't know if when the boss dies if they go down. But oh, see one of the orbs actually did hit us. So if you see these party frames, everybody's down to about half. It's going to be a rough affix. Definitely not a pushover. Yeah, Warblade. I went in there using uh, gloves and bracers. It wasn't, wasn't cutting it. Let's face this breaker away from the group. Make sure that fell explosive goes down. Alright. For these breakers, I do like to kind of sway back and forth to avoid that avalanche. So that's something you could be doing as well. And if you guys remember my Neltharian's Lair pull video where I show you how to get all the enemy forces, I did that first pull there in the beginning because it's one of the one of the optional packs that you have to pull. There's I think five optional packs you have to pull and you need to pull at least two of them. That was a lot of the fell fell fire orbs. If you guys saw that, that was about five or six of them. All right. Yep, we're taking them down. So this group is on it. They're a lot more proactive about taking down the orbs than my last one was. We did get a bit of a ninja pull here. I did take that down right before it went off. So that's good. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know where that orb was. Here's another orb. Take that down. And also, if you guys want a more, like, expansive video breakdown that I'm going to do on Explosive, I will be filming later today, and a new Explosive video will go up tomorrow. But I want to show you guys first exactly how it's like to just be in here. I hadn't run anything Explosive. You can see that it's, it's pretty bad in here. So we're getting a res. Check up on my healer's mana, 38%. Alright, we should be good now. Again, save your stun for this Hulk. He should never get that shard off on you. So once he knocks you back, right after that, right here, right after that knockback, save your global cooldown. Stun him from that. Yeah, Chase, I agree. It's the fact that they made them immune to cleave is uh, a bit of a pain in the ass. We might need macros to just do slash target fell explosive, you know? Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull here. So my stun was down for that, unfortunately. So I am going to pop a much bigger cooldown. That fell explosive did go off, unfortunately. Piercing shards, let's get that down. So with these pelters, one thing you can do is use a taunt and run away, and they actually do go back to the group. So in case they are very far away, that's something you can try to do to try to control them. But again, they, they're going to end up jumping around regardless. Alright, so we do have a lot of people down. No res is here, so everybody's going to have to run back. This combo is rough this week. So you get a lot more trash. And with that trash, they summon these orbs that hit you for half of your life after 6 seconds. So it's going to be a rough week, everyone. So we are waiting for... Alright, here we go. We got a run back. Gonna get a res. And we should be good to go. Oh, we're actually gonna get two reses. And the healer might have gone AFK. Waiting on him. Alright, let's see if we can pull this. We should be fine with this single pull. Don't know, I think the healer might have just DC'd or just given up on this week in particular. But we can't be waiting the whole time for the healer. But we also don't want to do any pulls that are too big. Alright, looks like we're going. So far, our luck with groups today hasn't been the best. We can see this guy DC'd at this point, not taking the res, whatever the case is. We we ran an HOV plus 9 earlier where, yeah, he went offline. Uh, we ran HOV earlier where uh, after one wipe, um, after one wipe, everybody called it and ran out, group disbanded. So 
So yeah, AoE or uh, party-wide damage isn't too bad with explosive as long as you're on it. But that's the thing, you'll get four or five orbs. You'll get four or five orbs at the same time, and they do a ton of damage. Alright, so we're going to try this pull without the healer, see how this goes. We won't be able to pull the boss without the healer. But we can try to do some other stuff, see if the healer reconnects, but I don't... I don't think the healer is coming back. We'll see. We're, at, we're up to the boss. This boss does do a lot of AoE damage. Alright. We're going, since we don't have a healer anyway. We'll see if we can get a plus 7 boss down without a healer. So nobody can fail at the strike of the mountain. That's guaranteed right now, or else they will go down. And we should have to get this down immediately. Although there are people that are already kind of low. So I think it's this one. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. We're good. Also, uh, for everyone out there watching, Sunder is spell reflectable, so you can actually re replace that damage or reflect that damage back to the back to the uh, boss here. So our one of our people are down is down now, so we'll see if we can even get this down. It seemed to go in, it's going better than I thought it would. Considering we don't have a healer. It might be these these new uh, these healing bracers. They're intense. They heal for about half of ignore pain. Half of what Ignore Pain heals me, which is crazy. Should be this guy right over here. All right, we should be good. I don't think we're gonna we're gonna need heals right now. Now for the next boss, for sure. Guaranteed next boss, there's no way you can do it without healers. Oh, the healer reconnected. Alright, we're good to go. We don't we don't need to be terrified of anything. So we have our healer back. I don't think we'll be able to three chest this anymore. I think this guy's in combat. No, we're good. Oh no, they want to pull this. Oh, Yeah, this pull's gonna be rough, no matter what you do. Alright, oh, there's another fell explosive back here, no, no, no! Alright, we got it. And there was another one. Oh, no.
one thing to note, these fell explosives do give victory rush. So, you guys saw there, my whole group wiped. I was able to keep myself up just with these victory rushes. So let's actually clear some of this pack over here. We do need uh, in the 60s for enemy forces percentages before we go into that cave. So I'll go ahead and just pull here. Only bad thing you guys saw there, some of the explosives get summoned underwater. You should be careful with that. What up, Schubert? Alright, 65%. We might need one extra pull. We'll see how it goes. Here's this guy. Let's get a stun on him and the grub going at the same time. Let's get this spell explosive here. Alright. This new affix, man. They really did get rid of affixes that were passive and added brand new ones that are really going to mess with us. Oh, I think I think one of the fell explosives went off. All right, we do have another blood worm. I think that no, we're good. These fell explosives got to be stomped down. Get that victory rush going. We're good, we're good. Warblade, specifically for Prot Warriors, pick up Anger Management, Stormbolt, and Impending Victory. Inspiring Presence and Safeguard are basically useless. Impending Victory you might use, probably won't. But you want Anger Management to be able to get your Demoralizing Shout up as often as possible because you want to keep the Inquisitor having as much uptime with that um, demoralizing shout as possible because that that Inquisitor casting 2.2 million spells on you is just gonna wreck you so remember to try to use demoralizing shout as much as possible and then uh, Stormbolt is gonna be your interrupt and that's for when he casts life drain exclusively so your stun should only be used when he casts life drain and besides that, yeah, you should be using Victory Rush as much as you can. Devastator Vengeance for sure. You want that extra rage for the extra DPS. If you're not doing good DPS, you're just going to wipe it out. And Vengeance Weaving will actually keep your uh, DPS up on all the ads as well. So you guys can see that this week is moving a lot slower. We're not going to three chest this. We have five minutes to get the last boss down for two chests, so we'll probably just one chest it. Explosive is going to be rough. Teaming Explosive is a not a good pair with this new affix. Alright, took that guy down. Yeah, no problem, Warblade. That's why the belt is so important here is to get that demoralizing shout up as much as possible. You just have to be careful with the stackable debuff. If you like weak auras and use weak auras, I suggest you use that weak aura I provided. Make sure you always run back as fast as you can after the spike tongue. 
I've had a few times where I didn't get back in time and one of my melee DPSers gets slapped in the face because I'm not there to take damage. And again, those ads need to be taken down and as much as their DPS priority, as a tank you can also cleave them. Alright, again, these fell orbs need to be stomped out. Fell explosives. I am going to save my stun for the scorpion that's coming up. Oh, no, 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 no. Alright, we can snare him. Yeah, I don't want to use my stun because this uh, Ember Husk Dominator is coming right up. I need to save it for him. So instead of letting them cast Frenzy, you stun them and that interrupts the Frenzy cast. So it should be happening very soon. Stun that Frenzy. No Frenzy. What up? What up, Glocks? Incoming rant. Go ahead, Glocks. Do you need to, do you need to rant about the uh, Mage Tower? Alright, there we go. We have uh, another person being chased. Here's the first fell explosive of this pack, taking it down immediately. Make sure you. And with the new tab targeting system? Yeah. So we'll get our stun ready for that frenzy cast. Here it is. Stun him out of it, no frenzy. <laughs> really, Glocks? I had no idea you guys were getting it with that much HP. That's a little ridiculous. And by a little, I mean a lot of ridiculous. Because your DPS isn't that much better than all the other tanks. You guys are pretty much on par for DPS. So I don't understand why they're uh, giving you guys that handicap. Uh, every tank has the same encounter, but yeah, you, we get slightly different things. Like Guardian Druids can't do any physical damage to the eyes. They have to use their moon fires. So yeah, everybody gets something a little bit different. You guys did see the enemy forces completed perfectly right there. So if we do this boss in one minute, we'll be fine. We'll see how that goes. We do have our stun up. So when he summons his ad right here, start DPSing it, get our stun on it. Make sure you have your active mitigation up for that exact magma moment. Alright, that's as much as I can do to that to that ad. I stunned him, I snared him, I did some DPS to him. We do have that fell explosive, it did go down. Perfect. So we'll get this fell explosive down ourselves. Alright. Make sure you keep that AM up. That Molten Charskin just destroyed our spikes so that we can't hide behind them. Alright, at this point, we're just kiting them around. This thing needs to go down. Yeah, one of those uh, fell orbs did go off. Yeah, we're not. We're definitely not going to be getting this right now. I 
And there's another fell orb that went down. Everybody's down except for me. Just wipe it out at this point. We have five minutes to do it again. Let's run over there. <laughs> Glocks. Your immunity doesn't work for anything? That's terrible. I, I know for us, they also uh, took away a few things. Like our spell reflect doesn't actually reflect anything. Uh, but it looks like you guys... You guys got shafted a lot more than anybody else did. What's up, bad Pac-Man? And yeah, Glocks, I can I can feel your pain of. I mean, <sighs> once Tumus Argaris comes out. We should all be perfectly fine to be able to down it, but until then, yeah, it's going to be a struggle. Glox, do you know if any uh, Paladins have gotten the skin? I know for Prot Warriors, it's about about four to four or five Prot Warriors have gotten the skin. And Brewmasters, I think only one Brewmaster has gotten it, so I don't know about Paladins. Yeah, we fell in a pit. Alright, so we're going to try to one chest this at one point. Yeah, last week was definitely a lot easier. No pallies? Yeah, I can... After after learning all that, I can definitely see why. That's ridiculous. Blizzard just said, hey, how about um, Pallies don't get this skin? Alright, so keep those explosions at bay. Make sure you get your AM up for that Molten Crash. Alright, now now people are focusing the ad. It's going a lot better. Here's a landslide. Charge back in. <laughs> Just getting to phase two. Is that insane? I I believe it. Alright, there we go. So that ad is being dealt with. Hopefully that fell explosion doesn't go off. We're good. You did a lower carrot 11. This is my first time trying this uh, explosive. So we'll see how this goes. Oh no, that fell explosion. Yeah, this isn't going to end well. I can already tell you that. It's just me and the healer up at this point. So I'll try to get this guy down, but I, I don't think this is going to end well. Four, three, two, one. Here's our magma wave. 
with hardly any crystals to hide behind. Alright, we're good. Nope. <laughs> I got knocked down real quick. Yep. Alright. So this is another wipe. Yeah, this is going to be a very, very rough week. Teaming and explosive. Unless you have a team that's very, very coordinated. Yeah, Glocks, I, I completely agree. I think they should um, at least even make it make it so that you can cleave them. So we're still good on repair. Everybody else apparently needs to repair. So everybody's running out repairing. At this point, the timer's dead. But this explosive is, is rough. Yeah, Glocks, I, I ran into uh, Halls of Valor right before this, and because of teaming right after him, dog, you have that big pull. It was about seven or eight mobs, and we had about five orbs spawning all at once. Um, after after the second wipe, the healer just left. The healer was like, I'm done with this group, and they just left. And yeah, Schubert, I normally try not to move him too much just because of the fact that every step he takes, he does an AoE. But I'll probably have to move him at this point. There is no macro to kill the orbs, but let me... I believe they're just called Fell Explosives, so it, sh it should be easy enough to make a slash target. Rapid Hockles, the definition of cleave is doing damage to something that you're not targeting. So if I'm targeting Dark Rule and I'm doing damage to an ad he has right next to him, I am cleaving that ad. I'm doing cleave damage. So unless, like since Dark Rule is my primary target, he is not being cleaved. He's my primary focus. But cleave would be someone I'm not targeting and they're still taking damage from my abilities yeah the orbs you can't use revenge to hit them you have to use abilities that only target one one thing so I can use shield slam on it devastate and auto attacks I guess at that point a lot of our kit is cleave and aoe's because thunderclap is an aoe revenge is an aoe cleave Dope, Adrian. Alright, so yeah, we're waiting on one last person. I mean, if you guys see the DPS meters here, two people were completely broken on gear, apparently, and they were still trying to meet the timer, so I'm glad they ran back so that they don't do 20k DPS. Actually, that's healing. No, they were, um, let's see. Here, 300k and 300k. They said that all their gear was broken. And they were doing half of what they should. But teaming with explosive doesn't look very, very good for next week's. And then what's the third affix this week? Let me check. Third affix this week is fortified. Which means that this week, trash is that much deadlier. Oh wow, Glox, and that's just because Avenger Shield jumps around? Just because it, it bounces after the first hit, it's considered a cleave? That's, that's terrible. Adrian, I don't know if you're looking at the chat or if you're just listening, but Schubert wants to know where you at. So 
So this person is back in the dungeon, running right back over here right now, so we should be good to go after that. And yeah, it, it definitely does add to the challenge. I mean, this new Mythic Plus thing where plus 10 is the cap. You know, plus 10 is a cap for gear. And they scaled everything down. Doing a, doing a plus 10 and getting that third affix is already a decent enough challenge if you're just pugging it. So, even just a plus 7, plus 8 is right around the middle of the road. So that's good. Are you serious, Glocks? There's nine wardens in there? That sounds ridiculous. With that with that debuff that they hand out, that's that's terrible. I don't like that. Alright, we're good to go. We're gonna get this pull. Get this guy down. I'm gonna move him a little bit. I'll be fine tanking him this way. Oh, you have to start from scratch? That sounds terrible, man. Although, right now, if you are level 100, you can just do the invasions and you'll get leveled up like crazy. So if you still need to level up, you can go ahead and do that while the invasions are still going on. The ones on the Broken Shore. Buy a Goblin Glider Kit. Glide on over and just do those invasions. They'll do the uh, Sentinax farm. Alright, we have Magma Wave up. Let's run behind this. That's a... An, oh no, that fell explosion! I think I got it before it went off. I think so, yeah. Nobody took a ton of damage. That's... that's terrible. You can get explosions during that. Oh man, not enjoying that. Let's get rid of that explosion. Hopefully they get rid of that explosion. Yeah, they did. Perfect. Alright. Let's get rid of this explosion. I don't want to face him that way too much because of our crystals over there. Alright, we were able to not get a depleted keystone at the end. That was rough. But we also got 1.2 million artifact power, so that's not bad. I don't think there's anything here that's terribly great for us. No, nobody, nobody got anything that they can share. Let's try to run a different dungeon now. Maybe even HOV again. Oh no, all your achievements. Yeah, those are those are going to be rough. Uh, getting getting all my achievements again, especially like feats of strength that you can't get back anymore. That would kind of suck. Black root cold. Ooh, that spider area. I'm always I'm always weary of that spider area in Black root cold. This is going to be bad. But let's try it. Let's see how bad it is. I'll just run in there. Enjoy cooking, Adrian. Alright, so we're going to run into Black Rook Hold. See how bad it is with this explosive debuff.
people are pretty close to it. There's an invasion going on too. Black Rook Hold is pretty bad. The the thing that makes it worse is uh, if you don't have a healer that knows to cleanse you. If you don't have a healer that knows to cleanse you during that spider area, that's a guaranteed wipe. Besides that, the only other area that might give you a lot of trouble is the area with the little... I don't even... I don't remember what they're called. The area with the little guys that just end up spitting fire and spinning around. Uh, that area can be overpulled really easily. Glocks. I have killed Gul'dan Heroic. Yeah. I actually ran it... Um, Monday, I want to say, and just just went through it. Um, all of heroic nighthold. Many wipes. Yeah, you need to get cleansed right away. Also, I don't know if this group has invis potions. Probably not. Haven't done an assault yet. So, also, if you guys haven't done it yet, you guys can start working on flying. And if you guys work on it, like, today and tomorrow, you guys should be able to get flying by the end of the week. Just by doing the assault in every single area. So, if that's something you haven't done and you want flying, go ahead and start working on that. Start doing the assaults. Getting the last few summons in. And everybody's here. We can run on in. That's good, Glocks. I, when I ran it, I think I was uh, 2 4 12. So, 18 people. get rid of that that quest all right so this is going to be interesting we can we can skip all of this although nobody has mentioned anything about invis pots so i don't think we're going to be doing that what's up phil i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're watching me live we have done Naltharian's layer plus seven and we tried an hov that didn't go over too well this week, but if there's anything particularly you want to see, Phil, you let me know. We're, we're in a black root cold now. We're seeing how bad this explosive is. So we're going to go ahead and go to the right here. No invis potions. Let's just get this done. Let's tab target that explosive again. There it is. Another explosive. Remember, you can't cleave them. So you have to manually tab target them over and DPS them down that way. Alright, that's not too bad. This group seems to be on their, on their tab targeting game. I had to cancel that early to get that single target off. <laughs> that's that's so many explosives. I think it's it's probably a little too many to deal with in a very good timely manner, but I hope I don't, I don't want to say I hope it gets nerfed, but I think they should change a few things. Mm. 
they should at least make it susceptible to some AoE damage, even if it's reduced. I think taking 25% AoE damage isn't isn't too bad. It's still an ethics we have to deal with, or maybe even 10%. But absolutely zero cleave damage is really bad. Look, yep, that's a wipe. That's a wipe. My item level right now is item level 900, Adrian. We should just wipe this out. Yeah, we should just wipe it. No need to kite. I didn't even think about the pups, Thrawn. You're absolutely right. Those Felbat pups are going to be terrible. Hadn't thought about that. Trinkets right now, Warblade, I'm using a 910 Infernal Contract and my Dark Moon card because now it goes up to 875. So using those two right now. Oh man, I really am going to have to make a macro to target Fell Explosive. Yeah, I I'm going to make a full in-depth look at this mythic plus affix tonight so you guys can get that tomorrow and i'm going to include a target macro in there you guys you guys can believe that this is this is a lot to have to deal with not to mention that our plus 10 affix makes trash even harder to deal with there's the wipe one explosive All right, we're just the the fact that it gives victory rush makes us pretty invincible with it. But it's still not a very good affix to deal with. I mean, this <laughs> this trash lasting this long should not happen. Especially because I have to, we have to keep tab targeting. We're gonna get these dark mending. Yeah, this is, this is a lot. I do have the two best in slot legendaries, by the way, Adrian. I barely got them. My first legendary was the gloves, which were the best ones. And then after that, I got a really, really bad one. But um, now I have now I have the two best in slots. So let's wait for some heals. Try to run back in there. We have one less mob to worry about. Yeah, we're ready. We pulled already. Alright. 
There's the first explosive. Here's the second explosive. All right, we're giving we're giving this all we've got. Yeah, these these bigger packs are really really bad. I definitely think this affix is overtuned. If they took even five or ten percent AOE damage, cleave damage, we would still have to focus them. But every now and then, when we get those packs of four or five, save DPS cooldowns to start cleaving them down, it wouldn't be too bad. We still have to deal with the affix. The Dark Moon card Warblade is armor depending anywhere from 760 to 2300. So it depends on what, you know, what quote unquote card is at the top of the deck. But it's a lot of armor and it really helps you mitigate a lot of that damage. So in stuff like Five Mans and most raid bosses, that Dark Moon card is going to be amazing. The only part where that Dark Moon card is completely useless is stuff like Star Augur, um, Corrosis, but for the large majority of encounters, armor is going to be very, very good. Alright, everybody keeps running in front of him, dropping everything here. Alright, let's hope there's no Reap Soul right now. Alright, here we go. CC We're trying to get some CC in here Get this fell explosion Man the fact that these fell explosions spawn even during like boss phases too look at him. He has plus four Like everybody's gonna die here. Oh, right, not everybody died. At least this boss is relatively easy to the point where he can even be soloed. Look at this. The boss is down. The explosive stayed up. So that's something good to know. The explosive stay up regardless of if the mob dies or not. Adrian, I... Do have a Twitch channel. I don't do much with it right now. I prefer streaming here on YouTube, but you can always share all the stuff I do. Since I do make a lot of guides for Mythic Pluses or Nighthold or something like that, sharing that when it's relevant. When Tumor Sargeras comes out, you guys can be assured I'm gonna be I'm gonna get all of that out to you guys in a week. So just really sharing. If you're in a guild, sharing over Discord. Or whatever Discord channel you're a part of, kind of sharing over that. That'll help out a, a ton to get more eyes on here. Alright, let's see how many fell orbs we get. Alright, apparently these are dying way too fast, which is good. Good news. These guys die way too fast for anything significant to happen. So this, this spinner probably won't die fast enough for that. Here we go. One fell explosive. And I'll passively pull the guys that are behind me just by walking slowly over there. I'll keep my thunderclap up for that. Alright. No pats. Oh, the pats are there. Alright. So we'll get this pat. Nope. What I meant to say is we'll just pull everything. Yeah, this is, this is for sure a wipe. So let's go back. <laughs> we need to wait for that pat. 
Yeah, I, I do have a Twitch Warblade. I streamed on it once, and it didn't really do much. I think I got one or two viewers, so I I dropped it. I haven't gone back to it, but I'm planning on trying to do some things over there. Yeah, the <laughs> Max. As soon as you walk in, Max, why do we get like the worst pull we could get? <laughs> What's up, Max? Yeah, Max, this week is rough. We got we were in a Halls of Valor run earlier. After two wipes, uh, the healer and one of the DPSers left, and we did an, Ath an Altharian's layer plus seven earlier. Uh, it's just it was just plus zero. We just we got the timer after the fact, so we didn't we didn't get two chests, not even one chest. I blame the tank too, to be honest. This tank has no idea what he's doing. Alright, let's give this a shot. Ugh. Here we go, here we go. Get that fell explosive. I don't care if I have to cancel my AoE. No, that explosion. All right. All right, we're still good. Yeah, the, the only redeeming quality of these fell explosives is the fact that they give you victory rush. But that's not even for every tank. That's that's a prot warrior exclusive. Really, Thrawn? That oh man. That's that's designed for you. All right, this is not going to end well. All right, we're still good. No, nope. oh. Somehow we haven't died to these fell explos explosives yet. Oh, there it is. That was a big pull. But in any other affix, that pull would have been okay. Would have been able to bounce back. Yeah, this is this is a lot to deal with this week. But we haven't even seen all of the new affixes, but I think teaming mixed up with this is definitely going to be the worst. And a plus 10. I don't know how Glox did a plus 11 3 chest. That's insane. Max. 10 tunes at 110. Jeez. I was going to make a 101 twink as well. But with item level scaling, I don't know if that affects them and if they basically got nerfed. Alright, one person here. Let's pull this. Well, I didn't decide to pull it, but let's get it done. Yep, rip key. Max, you thought last week was bad? The first week with Cathedral? It was like a mythic plus two or something, or, or maybe it was a little bit higher. Uh, definitely not higher than a plus five, and we had like 50 wipes in there. Yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be a rough week. All 860 or higher, Max. Max, you have a problem.
Yeah, last week. Last week, me too. Last week was not that bad. I did a plus 11 without thinking much about it. I did a plus 11s and plus 10. I kept doing plus 10s for Karazhan last week. And I was thinking like, yeah, I'm just gonna farm Kara every week. I don't I don't know about this week. I'm gonna need Glox to carry me. Glox to carry me on his plus eleven journey into Karazan. Alright, let's run back here. LOS all this trash. Hopefully they don't plant a bunch of explosives outside. We'll find out. Oh, here it is. Exactly what we were scared of. That's what's happening. Let's get rid of this. Oh, no. There's a second round of explosives. Alright, I don't see any more. There's that bone breaking strike. Let's go ahead and sidestep that. Oh man. So after this pull, we're done because somebody left the group already. Not sure why this pull wasn't going that bad. I guess they uh, they just didn't like what was happening here. So this group is a bust. Seems like this week anything above, above a plus seven is gonna be is gonna be very very rough. Luis, you made a plus seven last week. Cathedral is rough too, just because people don't know it. Cathedral is one of those dungeons that you're probably gonna get a few wipes in unless everybody's on the same page. And Warblade, that's basically what I'm going to be doing now, is just focusing on this guy until I get my Neltharian Thunder. This is going to add a lot of survivability to me. Reducing all the damage I'm going to be taking by 5% on top of any other points. And the Spell Reflect one, additional 20% magic damage reduced. That's, yeah, I'm definitely going to be trying to focus on that. Yeah, they just, I, you know, I'm not using my keys right now, so that's a positive. Plus 7 Vault of the Wardens. I've heard Vault of the Wardens is terrible, because it has a ton of ads with teaming. So, let's go take a look at exactly how terrible it is. I don't mind wiping. Let's just see how bad this week is. Uh, I can see that, Max. That you need, you need all the alts. Yeah, because the 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 grind, the AP grind, is really is terrible. All right, plus eight vault of the wardens. It says be good, but I decided to join it anyway. Warblade, I'm gonna try to do at least some of my alt caches. Javier, my alts, I currently have. One other alt that's 110, and one other alt that I'm leveling up. Wow, at least two hours. That's a lot, Max. Well, I mean, I don't mean it's a lot of time. I mean, it's a lot of hopping back and forth between all your characters. Yeah, Luis, I can definitely see needing to do that for Cathedral. Since, yeah, since Cathedral, it's brand new stuff, you definitely need that communication right now. And it, I, I do think Cathedral is tougher than most other mythic, uh, mythic dungeons we've gotten. Luis, uh, I, somebody in the chat earlier said that there is no way of doing a slash target uh, fell explosive. I'll try it right now in this dungeon. 
So, see if it works. If not, I don't know. It doesn't look like it because it doesn't look like they get in combat. So, you know how, like, this name right here doesn't have a... Um, doesn't have the HP plate underneath it because you're not in combat with them. The explosives, even though you're AoEing and cleaving, they don't technically get in combat with you because you don't see their HP plate. So that might be the difference between being able to target them and not. So we're going to wait here. There's someone nearby. Let's see if they run over here. We can get some summons in. Alright, let's get some summons going. No, Warblade, uh, the new plus 10 is the new, like, what you should be doing if you want to get the best gear you can for Mythic Pluses. They basically just put a cap on it. Putting a skin behind a plus 15 is just rewarding the people that can outgear anything Mythic Plus. Although, if you're only getting gear, if you're getting geared exclusively from Mythic Plus, you'll probably have a hard time doing a plus 15. Unless you get some really good war forging and titan forging. And yeah, only two alts. I am I am definitely slacking. David, what I mean by new affix is the new affix that were added in 7.2. They were added two weeks ago, so this week is the first week that one of those new affixes is live. That affix this week is explosive. So every ad has a chance, or every every mob has a chance of throwing down a green explosive ball of fire and in six seconds it blows up and does 50% of whoever's HP it spawned on as damage. So I have 4.87 million HP. If it spawns on me and blows up it'll do 2.4 million AoE damage to everyone. So you need to single target them and DPS them down. All melee group. Hey all melee group at least means I know where the orbs are gonna be you know. At least with an all melee group, I know exactly where the orbs are going to be, and we can just keep tab targeting them. Oh, def definitely it's a lot harder, Warblade. Before this change, the highest I had gotten was a plus 17. Uh, but after this change, I've done a plus 11. And I haven't seen any keys that are even higher than that. It's not even... It's not even a matter of... Doing it. I haven't seen very many keys that are even plus 13 or anything like that. Last week I focused on Kara. But... Yeah, last week I went up to a plus 11. When... Before 7-2 dropped, I was doing... The highest, again, the highest I did was a plus 17. David... I'm glad you ended up here in this channel. I mean, consider consider uh, subscribing to this channel. I try to put out guides. I mean, my, I myself had taken a very long break from WoW from the previous expansions. I didn't do much Mist of Pandaria and Warlords of Draenor. So even I kind of came back to WoW during Legion. So I'm trying to do things, trying to help out the community, trying to do guides that I see a lack of. I came back and there wasn't that many guides that were straight to the point that just told me what I needed to know and explained it to me and that was it. So I, I try to do that. I try to provide that for the community. Ooh, that's, yeah, Black Root Cold, Tyrannical, yeah. <laughs> Warblade, I didn't miss much. Mop seemed kind of fun. I did log in every now and then in Mop and I did a few dailies. That was... There was so many dailies in MOP! Blizz, why so many dailies in MOP? Warlords had me going for like a month. For like a month, I was like, yes! Warlords is gonna be amazing! This garrison! And then I got over it and I was like, I. Alright, I'm, I'm done with this garrison thing. I have all my followers are max level. They're all geared up. 
Uh, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, you see those orbs, by the way? David, these orbs right here, they need to be single targeted down. You cannot cleave them. So you saw that? That was just because my auto attacks were what has to do damage to them. Uh, shield slam does hurt them. But besides that, if you're playing a prot warrior, or you're playing a blood DK actually, you need to single target these down. And actually, you can't do a slash target. I was trying right there twice to do a slash target. Did not work. Alright, so Fell Explosives. New meta. New meta affix is going to break everything. That's terrible that you can't even have a macro that targets them. I hope something gets done to that. I mean 10% of cleave damage would be reasonable or even being able to make a macro that targeted them. What I've seen Blizzard move away from is things that aren't very easily accessible so they disable things that not everybody is aware of like like their, their macros or something like that. They're moving away from stuff that they don't straightforward just teach you how to do. Yep, that this group is gonna be the worst pull. And there's there's nothing we can do about this pull. Did you guys see how many explosives that was? Oh man. Yeah, Warblade, I hate I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to be the one that breaks it to you. I tried doing slash target fell right now didn't work that was pretty bad Alright, so I did LOS that pull. I let them know that I wanted to take these mobs back. So hopefully, you guys are having good communication. Oh man. Alright, so we got rid of the first few fell explosives. I think we're good now. All right. So just be careful with your pulls. I really do hope this affix gets changed a little bit. Doesn't need to get nerfed to the ground. Just changed a little bit. Maybe not 50% of HP either. I mean, if, if this annoying thing is going to be happening all the time, 25%, 20% of our HP is more than enough. Because this slows us down so much. No target macros. No being able to cleave. This is going to really impact run times of Mythic Pluses. It defeats the purpose of it being timed. And since even the tank has to help out with getting rid of this, I mean, it's it's tough because I have to face the mobs away from people. I have to keep certain things going. Look at that. Look at those those uh, <laughs> those party frames. That was one death and almost the other three deaths. This is, yeah, this week is going to be bad, guys.
or what they can actually do is not pair up teaming with explosive as well just because that's that makes it worse it it's not the only solution but that's definitely a combination that's pretty bad Yeah, this is definitely a lot worse than anything like Volcanic was. I mean, I actually don't even mind Volcanic that much. Here's a Fell Explosive, take it down. Alright, let's see which way the blades are rotating. Wait, why did he... Why did he use Metamorphosis twice? Did you guys see that? He was he was a tank spec and then he switched over to DPS spec. I've I've never seen him transform twice. That was weird. Alright, fell explosion. Get it. This is gonna be terrible. Hopefully they die fast enough to not be able to do anything to us. Let's see, let's see. Alright. I don't want these guys to spawn any explosives. I want nothing to do with any of that. Alright, somebody did go the other way, which is perfect. Clearing the other area. Alright, there we go. Try to keep a good cleave going on these guys so that they stayed aggroed on me. So since the fell explosives don't seem to even come in combat with us, I think that's the big reason why we can't target them. There has to be a way where we can get them in combat besides single targeting them. I get it, they tried they tried to fix the tab targeting system and it's a lot better, but having to spam tab target and mythic pluses, that's not an affix. The affix shouldn't be spam tab target. And then this boss, he's gonna teleport across the room. He's gonna spawn a fell flame across the room. Oh no. Do we really have to run after him? Alright, he spawned the explosive right before he left. So let's make sure he doesn't spawn an explosive now. Stare my guy over there. Let's get rid of Sap Soul. I think there was an orb out there. You guys saw how much damage we took out of nowhere? Pretty sure that was an orb. Oh, fuck, man. And then, I don't know if these inquisitive eyes also spawn orbs. This is terrible. I'm, I'm not, this isn't, this isn't a good affix. Now I know why people were saying to skip Vault of the Wardens. Oh, come on. There's another fell explosive off in the distance. This is terrible.
So we do have to actually chase down the boss. So let's do that this time. Luis, I used to have an add-on that was called Rage Bar, but this patch, it got broken, so I made my own weak aura. So this Rage Bar you see down here is a weak aura, and the Ignore Pain one is also a weak aura that I have set up for myself. And Andrew, you want me to tell you the zinger? We don't have any ranged, Andrew. <laughs> Uh, and it is a setup I created, Luis. I have one video, Luis, on my channel where I go over most of my weak auras, but the Rage Bar is a brand new one. But the Ignore Pain one is there. So we'll go, we'll stand right here. And we'll follow him after the blink. No, our oh I oh I did I think I thought we didn't have any I thought that was our healer but yeah we do have a boomkin you're absolutely right Andrew I could have sworn that was our healer all right let's get rid of this look at this get rid of that explosion get that explosion on my face oh man. This explosion! Alright, yeah, these, these explosions with these eyes going together with the sap soul. Alright, let's just run over to this side. This is this is like the first week Mythic Plus has got released. The fell explosives do spawn on the tormenting orbs. If you guys didn't see that, right next to this tormenting orb, there was an explosive. I was staring at it. Oh no, there's a fell explosion in there, it just went off. Let's use our infernal contract. This is bad. The fact that every single one of these tormenting orbs can summon an explosive. <laughs> so you guys should avoid Vault of the Wardens this week. Well, they don't even necessarily... They they should... If they don't nerf the damage, if they want to keep it at 50%, that's okay. But they should allow us to damage them a little bit more. Like, allowing us to cleave it. Because 50% is a lot. Like, you slip up on two of those orbs, it's a wipe. So they should allow you to at least uh, cleave them a little bit. Even if it's for a reduced amount... Or seriously, even be able to target them with a macro. Luis, let me let me try to find that video for you. There you go, Luis. That has the ignore pain one. Uh, the, the Rage one, I'll, I can give it to you. Actually, Luis, if you want to stick around after this um, after this live stream, I can give you that, that paste bin for the Rage Bar. And for any other ones that you want. Um, most of them are listed in that video. 
but I know I made one like for Pummel that um, it isn't showing up right now because I actually I and I can't charge that orb and it's not showing up right now but I've made some for Pummel I've made some for other stuff so whatever you need man all right let's cleave these guys down hopefully some of these other guys in my group nope All right, we were able to get most of them down. If we could DPS the orbs down in this boss, maybe it wouldn't be as terrible, but part of the mechanic, or part of the encounter, is that you can't. That's what you have to do. Keep an eye on everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! I mean, look at this. How are we supposed to do that? Pick up the ads? Yeah, this... <laughs> This can't be what Blizzard wanted us to do. To just do this like, yep, yeah, this is working as intended. I mean, the boss is never going to get down below the second ad phase. Did you guys see that? On top of one of those orbs, we got two fell explosives while he was summoning more ads. I understand bad luck, but... Man, that's rough. David, I play on Terralian. I am on, yeah, U.S. Terralion. Andrew, I can tell. I hadn't, I had not walked into a Mythic Plus this week. I wanted to do it here on stream, see how it was. This is, this is pretty bad, man. Wipe inbound for sure, Phil. Another one. Another one inbound. I think we got a repair. Yeah, we got a repair hammer here. Let's get a 200 gold repair bill. Alright. So what they said is that far away orbs don't hurt. So they want to tank him right by the door. Oh, jeez. So we'll see if that holds true. If at least, you know, if far away orbs don't hurt, then we might be okay. We might have just been going crazy that whole time. But the if our first attempt, we tried to LOS this, and it didn't go over well. So I don't, I don't know what they're talking about. No explosives. There's an explosive down there. Let's see if that hits us. That did not hit us. All right. So there is a range to fell explosives. We're figuring all this out. We did get one back there, and that's what really caused this wipe. These inquisitive stairs. I've never been so annoyed by inquisitive stairs. That's what I heard, Perfect Snake. I heard that that's exactly why you wanted to avoid Vault of the Wardens, was because that last boss was just spawning explosives like crazy. So, I mean, I hope it's fixed but I'm not holding my breath. This is this has already been pretty bad, so yeah, I'm not... See, there's a Fell Explosive right down here. Alright, so there is some range to them. I mean, hopefully I can find out what that range is. 
my guess is 40 yards, but we'll, we'll see. Alright, we should be basically done with this boss. He's done summoning adds. We have a fell explosion going off over here in the corner. That didn't hit us. Alright. What we do have to be aware of, since fell explosions do persist after boss death, is I do have to be aware of any fell explosives being up while we're running over. I think we're okay. Oh, man. Oh, there was that explosive, and it did hit our paladin. So that's something we have to be careful with. And apparently there is a radius on the boom warblade. Oh, we can't just skip to this boss? Why is that door closed? Yeah, so apparently this door is now closed too. Perfect snake. Don't step on snake. Alright. Oh, the door opens up. Cool. I'm assuming so that people don't just skip all the trash. Alright. Here we go. All right, these explosions. Yeah, maybe maybe teaming shouldn't be paired up with the explosive. It's so weird how anything with an HP bar is spawning these things. Oh, there's another one. And somebody went down? I don't... Man. Luis... Uh, the big thing, the big difference between bears and warriors is warriors have, we have a really good toolkit for tanking. I mean, bears are better. Like, there's absolutely zero denying it. Bears are way better. But for warriors, you have to be really aware and you have to use specific moves at specific times. For So for a warrior, your spell reflect is crazy good at keeping you alive on fights like Croesus and Spellblade, but you have to know exactly when to use them. You have to know. If you don't know, Croesus is just going to eat you up. There's there's no way going around that. So you, as a warrior tank, in order to stay alive in heroic and mythic uh, type of dungeons or raids, you need to know exactly what's going on and you need to use your key bindings at the exact right moments. And it sounds like a pain in the ass, and sometimes it is. But yeah, I mean, bear tanks absolutely are way better. There's no denying it. But we can compete. Um, I don't think I don't think any tank is underperforming right now. I think every tank can do heroic night hold. Um, some take more damage than others, but I think everybody is completely capable of doing heroic night hold. Yeah, as a bear, what I've seen is most people as a bear, it's like, keep your active mitigation up and use one of your cooldowns every now and then. If, if you know that there's big damage, just toss up a cooldown and you're good. You're, you're, you're chilling. Um, as a warrior, that's not the case. As a warrior, you need to know, wait, magic damage is coming. I got to use this. Oh, no, no, wait, this is physical damage. I got to use that. 
oh wait this hit normally affects me in this way or or it's a debuff that's going to come up right now the best way to deal with the debuff is by using demoralizing shout or by using my spell reflect whatever it is you need to be more on it when it comes to it but we're not like terrible compared to bears we just need to really know exactly what's going on Just get rid of all these explosives. See an explosive? Take it down. Where is it? Alright, it went down already. Alright, one good thing to note with Prot Warriors about explosive is since it does give you victory rush, Victory Rush is a single target ability. So if you're struggling using your Devastator and Shield Slam and you're trying to, you're getting frustrated, be aware that your Victory Rush can be spammed on these orbs as well. So that's that's something good to note for all the prop warriors out there. We get an extra single target ability. All right, as long as the fell orb doesn't spawn on our our guy over there, All right, we're good. Just got to just got to keep looking. <laughs> Max, I hope Tomb is all physical damage as well. They're giving they're giving uh prop warriors a new relic that increases our chance to block. Our current Nighthold tier bonus is only good for blocking it increases our block chance like I hope they do physical because this is it's getting out of hand how they're like yeah you're really good at physical I mean it's it's a shame that spellblade is 98% magic but you're but you're still good at physical though you know spellblade Illurial you're a beast all right we don't have a healer we're jumping down anyway apparently Max, no problem. Yeah, the only videos I've seen, I've seen um, two people do actual kill videos where they did take it down, but they don't talk. They just... And even though even though I didn't down it, I felt like there was something I could say about it. Fuck! That fucking explosion off in the corner. Yeah, I felt like there was something I could say about it at least, even though... I didn't necessarily complete it. Yeah, we're going this way. So I, I try to just break it down as best as I could. I mean, I don't even want to say I got close, but I got phase one down to 30 to 40 percent, which isn't terrible. It helped me see what I needed to see. And I saw everybody else that did it. Um, I saw their videos and kind of took in what happened with that. Adrian, we're still wiping a vault of the wardens. Not much has changed. These orbs, oh man, uh, there was um, a an ad off in a corner that you can normally ignore. Well, no, he spawned a fell orb, and since I have to tab spam, since I can't do a macro to target it, I tab spammed and actually chose the ad instead of the orb. This is this is no good. Although now, most of this shit is down, so we're good. So the fell orb spawned on that spirit of vengeance over there. You can't ignore these anymore. You know how you used to just be like, fine, let's just run away. They'll chase us. Yeah, right, they're going to chase you with this fucking fell orb right next to them. You can outrun the fell orb, but if they chase you and they spawn back where your healer is or something like that and you're not seeing it, it's a bit of a risky business. All right, two fell explosives right off the bat.
at this point we missed the chest there's no need to try to like outdo ourselves and just keep pulling like crazy Andrew you absolutely can uh, the warrior discord um, yeah you absolutely can if, if you see the need to Tank this guy right up against this wall. Can't knock us back. Uh, rip key indeed. But yeah, this week, this week is going to be a rough one. Right, yeah, I was in the Warrior Discord, and yeah, the only video they have pinned is very much, like, just a kill video. And it's by Sense, I believe, and I think he was the first warrior in the world to get the skin. I know Prodigy was working on it, and he had to actually go to class or go to work, I, I don't remember what. He was in Phase 2, down to, like, 10%, and he had to leave. And I remember in the Warrior Discord, he, he typed out, if anyone else has this skin by the time I get back, I'm going to be real fucking pissed. And somebody else got it. That fell explosive while the boss is invisible. That's cool. Alright, so we'll see if fell explosive is completely broken and creeping doom spawns a million. A million of them. Let's get our knockdown kick over here. All right. I like it rough. All right. Please no a million explosives with this creeping doom. All right, Blizz. So far, so good. I think it's fixed now. So nobody has to be terrified of Vault of the... I mean, still, be terrified of Vault of the Warden. But not as bad as before. Alright, here we go. And I think the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, we got it. You, ju you just need a little bit of range. Uh, shit, I didn't see that wall. Where's the Vengeance? And then angle yourself for the kick. Remember, every time that Vengeance spawns, you have a knockdown kick happening right after. Let's get that light over there. And we should be good to go, actually. I don't think we'll really need the light anymore. Alright. That was a plus 8. Vault of the Wardens. So the Creeping Doom Bite, and that was... 1.7 million artifact power, which sounds like a lot, but my next trait is 29 million off, so I still I need to run 29 of these to get my next trait, or more like 20. What's up, boss? Welcome to the live stream. Boss, by the way, I know you were commenting yesterday about the whole uh, challenge mode hidden skin. I, the video is up right now if you want to go take a look at that. I did get that done. I know we have a limited amount of time left for, let's see what everybody else got, for um, the rest of these, the rest of these uh, artifact appearances, so you should take a look at that if you're going to do that, if you want to try to get that done before the Mage Tower goes down. Luis, right now the best in slot for Prot Warriors are these gloves and the bracers. Now, if you're doing something like the hidden challenge, so if you're doing something like the hidden artifact challenge, the belt is going to be better, belt and bracers, but I would say uh, top four for sure, um, probably in this order, are gloves, bracers, 
gloves, bracers, belt, and trinket. Yeah, boss, it's tough in there, man. What item drops in plus 10 plus? I mean, plus 8 plus 8 is 890. You see that Mythic 8 Warforged? So, plus 8 drops 890. I think at plus 10 is when you get to 905, and that's the highest that you can get without Titan Forging or Warforging. Oh, yeah, I still need to do my time walking, too. So let's join another one that we haven't done yet. Plus 7 Vault. We just we just came from Vault. Let's see what else we can do. Plus 10 Cathedral. No, thank you. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's not go in there. Dark Heart Thicket, plus 8. All right, let's go in there. Wow. So, so... Eight hooves on the chat just got this from his weekly. That's nice. That's a nice relic. Alright, let's let's fly on over to Dark Heart Thicket. Yeah, Max, I just got my bracers. Uh, Monday. Monday night I was doing some AP runs because we got the new artifact knowledge level. So Monday night I was like, let's grind out some AP with this new artifact knowledge. And I got my bracers that night. I thought they were going to be instrumental in me taking down the artifact challenge. But didn't didn't work out that well for me. Didn't get to Didn't get it down. Yeah, and Max, you can actually try to push your luck and get it even closer. You can push your luck by doing Sentinax farming and farming the Nether Shards and getting the the item that costs 5,000 Nether Shards that's all epic. You can just go ahead and get those and use them and they can they can actually go up to legendary so you can actually try to force your way into your next legendary so let's head over to dark heart thicket we have one person right behind me and actually two people at the summoning stone so we should be good Luis I feel your pain uh, I used to have my gloves and my shoulders shoulders I, I ended up really liking them because Heroic Leap spam is really fun, but besides it being fun, there's not much else. It's just like, this is really cool, but I wish I wish Heroic Leap always had those many charges now. it Now it just seems like an inconvenience that Heroic Leap doesn't just have three charges waiting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking more into the crafted legendaries as well. The 
there was I can't remember which item it was, but there was a few that looked really good for Prot Warriors too. So I need to look at that. Alright, seems like everybody's here. Let's jump in. Try to get this done. Another look at the explosive affix to see how it is. Uh, we shouldn't... I'm trying to think of any pulls that are going to be terrible. When we do the shortcut, if we run into that mob because it is teaming and there's going to be more of them, bigger AoE radius, that's going to be rough. But besides that, I can't think of anything that's going to be super terrible. Alright, let's get this done. These Night Claws are going to do a lot of damage. If we get the Night Claws and let one explosion go off, that's it. So we can't let a single explosion go off. Definitely number one priority. Alright. Alright, we're stomping them out. Just like just like somebody mentioned earlier, just like totem stomping was before. Let's get some good AoE threat and AoE damage. These screeches, man. There was one fell explosion. Here's another one. Alright. 26 deaths, Max? That's a little light today. Are you, are you feeling generous? So I'm just going to pull one bear right now. There's no need to just keep pulling more stuff. And we do have the pat. So I'm going to run back. I don't, I don't want that pat and the bear at the same time. Let's get rid of that explosion. That pat terrifies me. I've, I've had a few wipes on this pat. Let's just reflect that despair. Look at that fell explosion just happening in the back. Trying to make sure we don't see it. It's like a, like a druid eating in an arena battle, just hiding behind a pillar like, Shh, no, 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 don't see me. I'm not here. Don't worry about it. And yeah, that belt is going to do a lot of healing, so we'll we'll see which ones are end up being better now. All right, let's get rid of this explosion. There we go. That, Max, I saw that too, that that Tauren is wearing really, really bad uh, gear, but I'm hoping it's just a transmog. That was, that was my hope before we jumped in here. I was like, well, oh no. Well, hopefully it's just a transmog, and he just really likes the way those shoulders look. And I'm, I'm still hopeful, Max. <laughs> Max, you have to, you have to have hope. But yeah, I, I see those shoulders too, and I'm like, those are the noob shoulders for Legion. Uh-oh. But who knows? There are some people that really, really like certain transmogs. Alright, so let's just not pull that group. Let's all mount up. Oh, we can just... We have a rogue. Look at this. Just keep going. Just keep going. Who needs invisibility potions nowadays? So I remember run back a little bit, start the RP event. There it is. I heard him yell. So once you start the RP event, you can just start tanking him there. You see the wall opened up behind me now. Fell explosion. I see... Oh, there's only one of them, right? Alright. 
I wonder if all these ads can summon fell explosions. I mean, with our luck right now, with our luck so far this week, probably. So we'll find out. I don't think so. They didn't. They didn't seem to spawn a ton of explosions. All right. Don't don't hope for more than that many wipes. I I hope this dungeon is the one that breaks him. I hope Befuddle just stops making videos now. I hope this is the straw that broke the camel's back. I want to see his spirit break. Hold on, let's see. Uh, I can't expect. I can't inspect him right now. Look at that! He got an explosion halfway through his charge. That's cool. I'm definitely going to be the tank that hits every single... Look at this. Explosion is still up. Boss went down. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> the only reason you're here, Hooves, is to see me break. I want to see him snap and just start cursing out everyone. Just... I want I want to see him delete his tune on stream. That that's going to be great. <laughs> An angel gets their wings. Uh oh, mushrooms are out. Mushrooms are out. Oh no. I hope that, like, right now, everything is game. Everything is fair game. I'm like, everything can is a possibility. If these mushrooms spawn fell explosives, I would, uh, that would not be good for anyone. Like, yeah, run into the mushroom. Get that explosive down. There we go. Alright, I think we're good. We just have blossoms left. These blossoms just take forever. <laughs> Max, I saw him raging with the uh, challenge mode. Yeah, he he got it down to like what one percent at one point. Popped his drums, and he was oh, and he just went down. He was just so close. Yeah, um, it's it is funny to see people tilt. I'll give you that. I think I think one of the only times I've tilted recording something for the channel was I was trying to get a really high mythic plus affix done. I want to say it was a plus 18 and I ran into the first no, the, after the first I want to say the first 3 pulls there was like two or three body pulls. It was Monday like 2 a.m. before the reset. So it was the reset was happening already in a few hours. And this group, they just kept ninja pulling everything, and it was just excessive, and they kept wiping to it. Like, it wasn't even just a ninja pull and get it done. Ninja pull and wipe to it. It was terrible. I just, I was like, it's okay. They're, they're getting a new key in, like, two hours. I'm, I'm done with this. I just didn't, didn't complete that dungeon. And yeah, tilting. I, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm familiar with the term. I 
at, like the fell explosives they die in one hit but sometimes all of our abilities are on cooldown yeah I, I hope I hope they get reworked a little bit just a little bit I mean they should still be relevant they should still be terrifying but it just I don't think uh, I don't think an affix should be let's see how fast you can tab spam until you end up at the right place I don't that's not fun for anyone interrupt that now we'll save our stun for in case all these guys start no just one guy it'll be fine let's interrupt that get rid of this explosion all right we're doing good we're doing good there we go yeah, just when if everything else is off cooldown, victory rush should be available with this explosive affix. All right. I wonder if every one of the roots is going to be able to spawn an explosive because it does have a health bar. Although it doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look like it just because. Oh, actually, maybe. That was a second explosive that spawned where the root was. Yep. Look at that. This sucks. Like, alright, get rid of all these explosives. By the way, face this boss away from the group. <laughs> Man. Let's pop our trinket. Let's absorb all this. And another explosive. Alright. So it seems that with this boss, you might even want to step on the roots on purpose. Or just, just actually just DPS them down on purpose. Even though it's not something you've normally done. Just because you don't want to get overrun with these damn things. And then here it is. We, we could have wiped there. I don't know if you guys saw that. We had two orbs up. Had to hit one of them right before... Oh man. 710k DPS on star. That's that's good, man. It's got a stun going here and fell explosives. Yeah, the execute phase is basically all of phase 3, right, Luis? Alright, so this run so far is still going the best, just because we're almost at the third boss with one death. Despite Max wanting us to get 28 deaths. Like, how the hell am I supposed to target this thing with so many ads? Alright, I would normally pull these guys, the slimes, but not with this. 
those slimes spawned like seven or eight orbs on us. Yeah, and these whelpings are going to do the same. Let's get rid of these fell explosions. Alright. Hopefully, we get everybody to run in. We might be able to outrange the orbs. Not this one. We can't outrange that one. And not this one. Alright. Oh, 26 max? I'm sorry. We need to die 25 more times. Hopefully it doesn't happen. I mean, we'll see how well the downdraft phases go here. I can't get that explosive. Hopefully someone can. Alright. That wind was hitting me really strong. I don't I don't know why it was so strong. Let's move the boss a little bit. Give everybody more room to work with. Here's the downdraft. Yeah, look at this. It wasn't this bad before. See if I can pick this all up. Move out the way. Well, Max, you did it. You did it. You you made us wipe again. It seems the downdraft is really bad if you're anywhere that's not super close. It's a lot worse than it was before. So remember, face this boss away from everyone for that breath right here. I think we might be okay. Let's move out of that and the corruption. Max, we did it. That one's for you, Max. That one goes out to you. <laughs> yeah, the the biggest I think the biggest reason why I really like my warrior is the fact that he just like charges into battle, leaps back in. The the movement on a warrior is something I really, really enjoy. Phil, thank you. Yeah, I I love my warrior. Like honestly, it's this tune I've done a ton of PvP with. I've tanked with him. The only other tank that I've ever been able to tank on and actually enjoyed it has been a Death Knight. Uh, but besides that, I, I don't I don't know. I, I don't like tanking on druids. Uh, pandas are okay. Uh, but yeah, I'd, warriors are something I like, and I, I'm not the type to give up because of fashion of the month. As long as we're not terrible, as long as we're not, you know, getting one shot by everything, I don't see a need to switch. I'm worse than a Guardian Druid, I'm worse than a Brewmaster Monk, but I can still do Heroic Nighthold. I can still pug it, get done. I can't be in the top 20 guilds in the world as a warrior tank progressing through it, but that's okay. That's not my aim. Definitely rip three chests. 
you have to take your time with this damn affix. Um, yeah, definitely rip three chests on. I would honestly say, unless you're running with a bunch of friends, a pre-made, anything this week is going to be rip three chests. Is that what it is? Going to get some Luda going here? I'm sorry. I, I do say that a lot. Pandas instead of monks. That that happens a lot. I'm sorry. In my head, monks and pandas are like one and the same. But you're absolutely right. They really aren't. You guys uh, see this whack-a-mole game I'm playing with just tab spamming all those fell explosions? Like that, that to me is not a mythic plus affix. It's tab spam, tab spam, tab, 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 tab. So I, I do run away. Uh-oh. All right, hopefully that, ex all right, they got it. Cool. Let's get it done. Three minutes. Also, one thing that I see a lot of tanks do is they run out of like stuff like this. Like here, I have the AOE heal of my healer, right? I have the druid. He threw his uh, little mushroom on the ground. There's no need for me to step out of this and tank it right here. Help out your healer. It costs him a lot of mana to place this damn heal on the ground, so just step on it. There, there's never a need to, you know, kind of move away from uh, what your healer wants to do for you. So this healer clearly wants me to get these heals right here, and it's fine. Unless there's a positioning problem where I can't be standing there for whatever reason, then there's there's no need for me to run out. Like that, growing paranoia. Unfortunately, he can't be anywhere near us. I have growing nightmare. So yeah, the, unfortunately like he can't be near us because of the debuff he has, but he can still try his best to get in there. I do see a lot of people run out and just I, I find it a little unnecessary because when I play my healer, it's like I I put that there for you and now you you died or you went down because my heal wasn't working on you. All right. That was a plus two. I mean, a two chest plus eight. So the key got upgraded to plus ten. Let's see how much artifact power we got. Ooh, 885. A uh, little five item levels lower, but we got 1.2 million artifact power. Again, the artifact power now is, is pretty good. Also, for my weekly chest, I mentioned this in the beginning of the chat. From my weekly chest, since I did do a plus 10 last week, um, I got 4 million artifact points. So next week it'll be more. We get a new artifact knowledge level later this week. Oh, this is glitched. Alright, so I am gonna gift that away. So yeah, I did get 4 million artifact power. And so next week we should get more if you do a plus 10 this week. I mean, plus 10 this week, we can see that it's gonna be a little rough. But if you do a plus 10 this week, you're going to get a little bit more because we do get one artifact knowledge level on Saturday, I believe. Nami felt my words. She should, after burning all that food. Man. Nami, Nami's going to be the last boss this expansion. She's going to start throwing burnt food at us gonna be like a weird Trilliax fight where you don't want to eat the cakes. And Phil, I, I can see that. Five Man Dungeons, this expansion, are definitely really good. I mean, with Five Man Dungeons, even with Karazhan, I'm, I'm so happy that Karazhan got added to the Mythic Plus keys 
because Karazhan had some of the best gear when it first came out, and now it's 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 really good and reinvigorating to see it kind of come back and and be relevant again. Luis, <sighs> any advice for a plus eight arcway? Get your get your finger ready to just spam tab. Whatever whatever finger it is that you use for tab, just like stretch it out, warm up, do some do like some jumping jacks right now. <laughs> Get ready to tab spam because there's no targeting dispel explosives otherwise. Hooves, I do have an Arcway video. I did an Arcway Mythic guide. All right, so. That's all of the Mythic Plus content I'm going to do. I'm going to jump into the challenge mode here on stream for you guys so you guys can see my pain and see if you guys can learn anything on the fly. So if you guys were just here to see Mythic Pluses, see the new affix, thank you guys for dropping by. If not, bear with us as I jump into our challenge mode and try to get it. Um, if not, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Just a subscription, liking, and sharing the videos helps. All of that is more than enough. But if you guys want to get extra perks, have exclusive contact with me, have me look at your tank, troubleshoot, do whatever you guys need to do. Uh, you guys can visit my Patreon. It's the first link in the description, patreon.com slash befuddled underscore gaming. But if you guys are going to stick around, let's start jumping into this. I got, some, I got a few bear tartars. I have nine tries, 970 shards. So nine attempts to jump in here, see how it goes. Ugh. Yeah, you gotta you gotta put the lotion on the finger. You gotta lube up. Yeah, if, if you want a very specific breakdown on the challenge mode, I uploaded a video right before this live stream, about an hour and a half before the live stream. You guys can go ahead and watch that. If not, you guys can watch here. Let me what I'm gonna do is turn on my mic so that I don't have to push to talk. All right, so you guys can hear me now. You guys are going to be able to hear all my breaths and all this stuff that I normally edit out and push to talk. But yeah, five, five minutes of content, Max. That's exactly what it's going to boil down to. All right, we got our bear tartar up. Let's, let's jump in. All right. So I haven't done this since yesterday. And I just thought about it. I am the wrong spec for this. I can still stun him, but it's but it's not Stormbolt. All right, I saw that Mind Rend was about to go off. All right, we're gonna interrupt this Mind Rend when it gets a little bit closer. There it went. All right. Yeah, I don't have anger management. Oh no, my stun is down. I have a I have a forty second stun because of shockwave. So that means that <laughs> that's not gonna be good. All right. Remember, pick up Stormbolt if you're a prop warrior, or else this guy will just heal right back up to full. Yeah, this attempt, this attempt is no good. DPS these infernals while they're being blinded. If not, yeah, just kind of run out. All right. Yeah, this is not going to end well. That second mind rend is going to hit me right now. There's that drain life. That's my interrupt for it. I don't have to use my really long stun. Also, Infernals don't count as killing blows, in case you guys are on your warrior and you're trying to get that that last victory rush you need, and yeah, um, Infernals are not going to do it for you. Yeah, there's I can't interrupt those drain lives right now. 
So at least I'm not completely wiping, but yeah, I, I need that storm bolt. I probably yeah, let's just let's just let that happen. Also, you don't need to like run back to Dalaran or have tomes to respec. You can do it right outside the mage tower. So let's pick up Stormbolt, Anger Management, Impending Victory, Stormbolt. Don't mind me, I'm going to reorganize my action bar so that I know where my stun is. Alright, let's run back in there. Start eating our Bear Tartar. Should go a lot better this time. He shouldn't be able to heal. Alright, yeah, those Infernals, what I let them do is kind of damage themselves over time as I dance around them. Once they become smaller and more compacted, that's when they're taking increased physical damage. So that's the point where you want to run in and start doing damage to them while dancing in circles around them. That's just so that they don't get the smash off. Since Battlecry comes off of cooldown a lot, I pop Battlecry right before I start DPSing Inquisitor. So you can see here, pop battle cry, interrupt the first cast, and run out right before the second cast, pop demoralizing shout, reduce that damage, and get this first kill. Now at this point, I'm kind of stuck here. I stun him right before we get to tick off. I do have a heal now, so I'm just going to kind of wait for it till I need the heal. So I'm going to try to use my own victory rushes. A, a mind rend is going to happen right now, but I'm good. I don't need to use the heal. I'm going to use the heal right now. Alright. So you want to hold on to those heals as much as you can because you only get one like every 30 seconds. So here we are. Right back on the Inquisitor. Our debuff did wear out. So let's run back in. Now I have five stacks. It's a little too much. So I'm going to get a heal off here. Uh, Velen can tank a little bit for you, so don't worry about leaving Velen alone for, with that. It's also good to kind of be aware. Alright, there's a, the Drain Life. So let's go ahead and just cancel that. So I'm going to go ahead and interrupt that Mind Rend. I still have my stun up for the... Oh no, oh no. Alright, alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, yeah, that was... No! We're not good! <laughs> we're not good. We got knocked off. Yes, movement speed is key in this encounter, which is the reason why Bear Tartar is crazy, crazy good for this. Uh, Bear Tartar gives you increased movement speed every time you kill something, and you're constantly killing things. Tormenting eyes, horrors, infern... Or infernals don't count, but... Tormenting eyes and um, the horrors, and so you're you're just picking up speed. And let me let me let you know, Warblade, Bear Tar Tar. It's right here. So it says you will sprint for a short time after killing an enemy, and that's Bear Tar Tar. So that's what you want to use for this challenge mode. And it really is. It really is a gift from the WoW Gods when you're running something like this. Because you need to get to those healing orbs on the turn of a dime. You need to get back to the Inquisitor as soon as possible. You need to be everywhere at once when you're doing this challenge. And yes, Bear Tartar is also really good for Mog running. Since it doesn't have an experience need needing like uh, experience. Kind of like Victory Rush, you can only proc it off of things that would normally give you experience. Bear Tartar doesn't have that prerequisite. Let's stun that. That's why you you, you spec into Stormbolt. You saw that I just turned around, stunned, and then went back on him. Alright, and then let's just get on this guy. Mind Rend is about to go off right now. You see that really big hit. I'm going to pop this heal. Get some cleave damage going here. Alright. We should be good here. So, one thing you can do is, if you can time everything correctly, what you want to do is pop your heal 
whenever you have stacks and you get hit by by the cast so what that means is that I currently have two stacks of the debuff as soon as I get hit instead of interrupting that drain life I'm just gonna go ahead and oh I know I'm not I'm gonna let him heal to full that's what I meant to say yeah I got knocked back with that but I wanted to pick up my heal and interrupt all at once so here we go here's another mind rend I'm gonna cancel that again three stacks run out The mind rend is about to go off right now, and as soon as that went off, here we go. Here's a drain life. I'm gonna go ahead and stun that. All right. So let's pop this heal. There's a lot of ads here. Let's try to get some procs going. We can get right back on the boss. You see me constantly moving, and it's not because I want to give you guys motion sickness. It's because of the infernals. I want to dance around in circles. Right, yeah, and Bear Tartar can be used anywhere. Not just necessarily only in the Broken Isles. Let's, let, let me go repair real quick before we jump back in there. So we have seven more tries. This this is definitely a really good challenge mode, but it's very unforgiving. One or two mistakes, and you're done. So right now, I'm only popping Bear Tartar. I haven't even gotten right back into the swing of things. I highly suggest that if you're going to do the challenge modes, instead of just doing two or three attempts, and then farming and coming back and doing two or three attempts, you should build up your muscle memory. So what you should do is go out, farm for an hour, you'll get like 8,000 shards, which is like 80 attempts, which is crazy. You don't, you don't want to sit down and do 80 attempts, but sit down and do 20 attempts, 30 attempts, and you will, be get, you will be getting better every single attempt. You'll start noticing a pattern. So the pattern I noticed is I run in here, DPS a little bit, interrupt the first mind rend. When the second one is about to go off, there is an add up. I go, I run to that add, and I start DPSing it down. At that point, I can, you know, get ready for that drain life. And here it is. I can run back in and start DPSing again. My interrupt is back up. So the beginning is very much an easy dance that I can do now. But after a while, it just gets so hectic. It's very, very busy. So I do like prioritizing these ads over the horrors because they go down so easily. Let's go interrupt that. And always make sure that you're trying your best to DPS them down in that short duration you have. So for me, that's popping Battle Cry and getting all exclusively crits. Alright, we're good for now. That got really, really close on a death there. Here's a Drain Life. Let's go ahead and just stun that. There's a Mind Rend that I can interrupt, so I'll go ahead and do that run out start getting some victory rush procs and make sure you stare back at the eyes you don't want that hitting you Ooh, that's close that's real close so again let's get a stun get that drain life out of here we don't like that nonsense here all right Nope. We were down to about 60% there. Not terrible. Not the best attempt, not the worst. Uh, the vendor... The, I don't believe the vendor has an appearance for me, Max. No. I, I see the legendary, and then everything else is just kind of AP and... Some of the other stuff that they sell, trinkets, whatever whatever piece of gear you want, toys, but there's no artifact appearance. I think a few people, I think hunters get vendored weapon appearances, right? I think that's that's the class that gets the the appearance here. Alright. Let's get a bear tartar going again.
If there's any questions you guys have about the challenge right now, or about anything Mythic Plus we've done, or about anything at all, even Nighthold stuff, you guys can ask me now. This is kind of a little bit more of downtime. I want to show you guys some of this content, just in case you guys are a little scared of using your own attempts. You guys should just run in here and give it a try, but definitely farm up before, because when I did 30 attempts back to back, I was getting a lot better and it was a lot more comfortable going in there. Did you buy it, Max? So again, in the very beginning, it's very cut and dry. You interrupt the first cast, move away for the second, and get that ad. That ad is for sure going to be spawning. And since normally at this point I'm still doing alright on HP, I normally stick on him and do some more damage before I pick up the first healing orb. At this point, this is when I start getting low. Before that second mind rend hits, that's when I pop this heal. Let's stare at those eyes. Oh, I did not mean to run into that, although it's not the worst thing that's ever happened. Dodge that smash. Yeah. Getting knocked back all over the place is probably the worst thing about this challenge. Yep. Okay. So we're still working him down pretty good, but you can see that you get very short windows to damage him. I mean, you get one stack of the debuff every two seconds. You want three to four stacks, that means you get six to eight seconds to damage him every time. So those six to eight seconds need to be maximized. You need to pop your cooldowns. Anything you can do to increase your damage on the Inquisitor, do it because you only have those six to eight seconds. And having six to eight seconds to take down 48 million is rough. So you want to, for sure, do as much as you can in those four to eight seconds. Alright, let's, let's get back in here. Jump on him again. Again, the first cast we're going to interrupt. And right before the second cast comes up, I see this ad come up. I focus him. I run out with three stacks get this interrupt off. I think he still got one tick of that heal off that time. And here's his cast again. At this point, I am fully aware that we have a healing orb in the back. So I'm going to try to stall using it as long as I can. Try to put myself in a better position. His mind rend is about to go off right now. If you interrupt too late and that mind rend, if you interrupt when that mind rend is like a 90%, It'll still get off. The projectile will be in the air and the mind run will hit you after you heal up. So it'll be really bad for you. So try to interrupt that mind rend with the heal when you're when the cast is maybe at like 80%. Oh man. That was the smash and the mind seer getting me. Or the mind rend. Yeah, the mind rend hit me for that. Alright Warblade, thank you for stopping by. Actually guys, that's going to end today's live stream. If you guys want to see the full breakdown, look at the video I made this morning about the challenge modes. If not, thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you guys for always supporting, watching, subscribing, liking, leaving comments. The conversation is real good. You guys can reach out to me, Twitter, comment section, I'm always there. And if you guys do want any additional perks, like being able to get me to look at your specific tank, being able to look at specific encounters for you, even being able to get me to do a specific video you want done, you can go ahead and visit my Patreon. That's linked down below. But if not, as always, good luck tanking out there.